New developments involving this man who's charged with manslaughter in the death of a St. Johns County deputy. He's now retained a civil attorney in this case. That attorney tells News for Jax he is now reviewing what happened to see if there's a civil case here. 18-year-old Virgilio Aguilar Mendez has been in jail since May. He was accused of trespassing on a property in St. Augustine. Well, it turned into a physical confrontation with this man, Sergeant Michael Kunovich, who collapsed and later died at the hospital. News for Jax reporter Marilyn Parker spoke with the attorney who says this situation is a grave injustice and feels there's a lot more to the story. How is he doing? He's he's very afraid. He stands by his innocence. Philip Arroyo is representing Virgilio Aguilar Mendez and his family. He says they are heartbroken and Aguilar Mendez never thought this would happen to him. We believe this is a grave injustice for, for what seems to be um, so far an act of police brutality. Why when I was driving around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Uh, it's in, it's in. Okay, but why did you get up and walk away? Arroyo is going off this body camera from May 2023. Aguilar Mendez is approached by St. John's County Deputy Michael Kunovich. Don't walk away from me. No, no, sorry, sorry. Don't pull away from me. Who tries to search him for unknown reasons. Aguilar Mendez yes. says repeatedly he doesn't speak English. Lay on your stomach. I'm sorry, not speak English. It took three deputies to wrestle Aguilar Mendez into handcuffs. After which, Kunovich collapsed and died at the hospital. Aguilar Mendez is charged with manslaughter and resisting arrest. Is there a civil case here at all? Well, that's what we're reviewing so far. Hispanics in general, um, those who don't speak English, are um, victims of police brutality or civil rights violations. And sometimes we never hear that story because of the language barrier. And, and, and I think that in this scenario, it's very important to, to shed light on what's going on here. The St. Johns County Sheriff's Office says they do not keep a list of Spanish speaking individuals. They do currently use this limited English proficiency service. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year with an interpreter and translators. Now I asked the sheriff's office if Deputy Kunovich used this service at the time of the encounter with Aguilar Mendez, and if not, why? The sheriff's office responded saying that that question is a part of an active investigation and they don't have information regarding it at this time. A Spanish-speaking deputy did arrive on scene after Aguilar Mendez was in handcuffs. Arroyo says they are also reviewing potential racial profiling in this case based on the video. Is there anything on behalf of the family that they want said about this case? They just um, fear for their son. But despite of this grave injustice and miscarriage of justice that they um, are expressing that's happening to their son, they still believe in our American criminal justice system. In Jacksonville, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station. There's both a bond hearing and a competency hearing scheduled in 11 days. We may get a glimpse of more evidence at that time.